Everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of It's Jenkins. This episode of It's Jenkins is brought to you by Quicksell. Shop well, shop Quicksell. You got that? So, like I said at the end of the last episode, we did jump systems. I'm gonna go to navigation here real quick, show you where we ended up. We didn't go very far. We just moved from here to here. Uh, this is a one skull planet now. Uh, pirate presence. I'm hoping to get a little bit more combat in with pirates if we can. Uh, maybe get some good gear off them. But I still think hitting the Marians is probably our best bet for quick sell stuff. That being said, I did make a couple changes here. Uh, if we go to barracks real quick, there was one small advancement. So Vengeance finally got uh, her first um, major skill. And I decided to go with uh, Bandit for increased clustering and uh, increased critical strike chance. She's the one that was piloting the Assassin with the SRMs. And she will now be also piloting... The Storm Crow. I got the Storm Crow refitted. Um, or refit. I was going to do the Clint and I'm like, uh, I don't know. Like, it was a big toss up because both the, the Clint and the Assassin are kind of underperforming. But I think the Assassin's weapons will work better based on what I have on the Storm Crow. I tried to do a uh, large chem laser build in the Clint. Wasn't really working for me, so I left the Clint as it was. Um, the commando, we had the, the shotgun on here too, combat shotgun, but then I, I'm sure you guys noticed at the end of the last episode that I was under, uh, weight to be able to carry that thing. So I, I'm like, a, I need a half ton more to be able to carry it. So I had to take it off. I did replace it with the bolt on rockets again. So we got those back. What else did I do? Oh, we ended up with a little extra weight. So I ended up putting a mask system in. So I hope, hopefully I can remember to turn this on and off when we need to run the extra little distance to get some more, um, generate some more evasion. But that's all I did with this guy. And because I was looking at trying to get like another weapon system on it, like replace the uh, the small X-Pulse with something. Because this is one ton. But we really don't have a lot of gear yet, so there wasn't much I could do with this, so I just left it. As you notice, the Assassin's here. I pulled all the gear off that because it all went into the Storm Crow. So let's have a look at this guy. Definitely a good upgrade for the Assassin. So we maintained the Plasma Cannon. We, replayed the, we retained the SRM-10 with the Acid and Mag Pulse ammo. I also dropped in an SRM-4 and an SRM-2 with some Inferno ammo. A pair of AP Gauss rifles with some Magshot ammo, obviously. And a pirate, pair of Pirate ER Medium lasers. We also retained the Mind Dispenser and the Active Probe. I ended up with an extra half, of ton, half a ton. And so I added a little bit of armor... Uh, to the legs, to the back, a little bit to the center torso, and we retain the Artemis system. Now, I know we don't, we don't have any Artemis ammo, um, but it does provide one evasion pip ignored, so it's really going to help out the SRMs. We're in SRM 16, so now this doesn't do full damage, but that's fine. I mean, we'll probably be using the SRM 10 for Acid and Magpulse, and the, the others for the Inferno. Get a good mix of stuff going. I'm interested to see how this works. Double heat sink kit, extra double heat sink. We are definitely um overheat here but if we if we cycle one of the pirate er medium lasers on and off or the plasma cannon on and off you know depending because once this, this is 20 the other one's 21 we'll be dropping our heat just fine unless we're in a hot environment then we can just leave one of the er mediums off that's fine too we do have a client exchanger in here actually i should probably swap this for the double plus exchange actually no this is a little better than the other one or is it so the triple plus or the double plus exchanger that we have, the inner sphere is minus nine heat per turn. I think it's minus 15% heat generated, whereas this is a flat minus 15 heat per turn, minus 10. I'll have to do some tests, but for now, this is kind of where it's going to stay. I may play around with it between episodes. We'll see. But I only, I just included the bolt on 10. I mean, you can't use the combat shotgun unless you have two hands. The only other mech that we have with two hands is the stealth. And I thought about trying to get it on the stealth. So if we have a look at this real quick. The only way I could do it is if I drop the endo steel because I got to get, um, like this is only 3.61 tons carried that I can carry. It'll be doubled with the uh, the um, 
where is it here? The Quixel Myomar, where is it? Somewhere here. Yeah, Quixel Hybrid TSM. So this only doubles, I believe, the amount you can carry. Uh, although it doesn't really say on here. Carry weight by two and a half. So we could definitely get the uh, combat shotgun in here. But like I said, we'd be losing 2.25 tons. That's just a fair bit. So I'd have to figure out what we were going to pull off. Most likely it would be the streak and replace it maybe with a bigger laser or I don't know. So I decided against it. It wasn't really w worth um, jeopardizing this mech as a whole. I mean, I guess we could pull the jump jets and the mine dispenser. But yeah, I mean, six of one, half dozen of another. The combat shotgun, while it'll do some half decent damage. I don't know. Anyway, that's for, that's for future. I'm not really worried. I'm hoping to get out of this stuff relatively quickly. If we can put together more quick sell mechs, more than just one. I want to run with more than just one. Uh, Jenkins definitely has to stay in it, but we'll see how it goes. Anyway, uh, that long-winded explanation done. Um, we're going to go to engineering real quick because I want to go ahead. Here, we don't have a lot of sea bills, but I am going to get the second habitat pod going. Get that started. It'll take a bit, but we'll That'll open up the second training module. I just want to kind of advance this series a little faster than we have in the past. I kind of loitered a little bit in the lower end. We're going to try a move to the mid game a little faster than normal. So I'm going to do that to kind of pressure me to uh, to get some more stuff going here, get some more sea bills and stuff going. But anyway, if we go to the command center, I know what mission we want to take today. It's only going to be a one skull today um, because we are looking for more parts of the quick sell mech. I want to go against the Marians. And out of all these missions, this is probably the best. Like, I mean, this could be better, but it once again, it's an assassinate the Highlands. And if that ends up like being the first one we played where it's like all over the damn place, we're better off going this route. So that's what we're going to do. Um, so let's do this. And it's basically just hitting a company that's preparing to leave. So we'll go full salvage. I need to generate some sea bills at some point, but uh, we'll figure that out later. And we'll bring the storm crow straight down, and uh, let's go. Yeah, I know. Command interface initiated. All right, here we go. Got them right out in the open, because they're always out in the open. Oh, they might get reinforcements. Yep, they are. I'm down here. So we can't play on that side. There's going to be somebody up here, too. I wonder if we start off in the defilade and then kind of work our way up. Hmm. Or do we take these guys on first? Because we could do that. Either way, I'm going to have to try for quick kills here. question though is do I have better defensive train on this side or this side this way it opens up their battlefield to be their line to be pretty wide though so if I go on this side we've got some defilades here we can kind of hide in if we have to to avoid direct fire from these guys it takes them longer to get to us and we can keep them in more of a narrow column here so I'm going to say we drop here let's just do it One skull's always dicey. See what happens. I heard a vehicle moving. Sounds like more than one vehicle. Down here. So this could be a vehicle, Lance. Heads up, Commander. You've well, got Commando. That looked like a H. Vulcan 5T. Gun technical, S. Is that small laser? Mortar? Yeah, whatever it is, it's ineffectual at the moment. Hunter. Okay, so not too bad on that side. We should be able to get some quick kills there. Waiting for orders. All right, Road Rash. 
Can we get this technical? That's the question. And where do I want to drop my mines? We're going to wait. I'm not going to drop the mines early. Wow, okay. Let's give it a shot anyway. Rocket 5, Heavy Rocket Launcher 5. It's the same kind of one that we had, I think, originally. Nothing. Damn it. That's alright. We'll make up for it in the aggregate. So is that a Lerm 15? Hunter? Is that the Hunter? Could have been the Hunter. Don't know what else it would have come from. Alright, let's see how well you do. You got some speed to you, which ain't bad. I mean, this is probably going to be a garbage chance to hit, but we'll take a shot at it anyway. Wow. Ah, we're not heating up. Ah, we'll leave the plasma cannon off, though. Don't want to waste the ammo. Firing. Nah. First turn's always garbage anyway. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Alright, Vulcan 5T. What, AC2 and medium laser or something? Oh, he's just gonna dig in, is he? I'm your spaniel. How are ya? On my way. Double time. Alright, see what Quick Cell can do today. That's not a bad chance to hit. We'll take it. So he's got a, I think. If I had to guess, maybe a machine gun and a bunch of small lasers or something? Something I can do. Something I can do? Yeah, you can hammer this dude right here. Oh, nice hit! Nice hit! So we're on long range targeting. Perfect. I'll leave the Thunderbolt off for now. I like the, I like the fact that the, the ACs have generous ammo now. Standing by. Let's get over here. Quick statement. Gonna face more towards where I where the unknowns are. Just in case they decide to fire some missiles or something. We'll take a shot here. Copy that, Commander. Nothing. I missed. Yeah, that's okay. See if you can get a kill this battle too. It'll be nice if you can. I'm hearing more vehicles. Oh. Urban Mech, LRM. Alright, that's the hunter there, right? Yeah. Okay, we're in a good position. Uh, hopefully it's not an urban mech, Lance. I wonder if there's any quick sell urban mechs. It's kind of an interesting question, eh? Okay, he's hiding. He's hiding. Come on, you guys. Figure out what you're doing. See ya. I, know, I don't know where he's going. Wow, these guys are fast. Oh, it is a medium lasers. Okay. Alright. That's alright. That's alright. Huh. You better back up. You better back up. We're all coming for you here. I'm here. Alright, do I walk it up or sprint it up? How far can I get with a sprint? I can't get into trees. That's actually not a bad chance to hit, although I don't think I want to be... Hmm. It's gotta be a range bracket thing. Oh. Uh... The rest of my guys are going to follow up, too. Let's go like that. I'll race ya. Yeah, don't race us. Not a good. Ch that's not a good choice. Alright, we'll hit him with this stuff. Engaging target. Yes. Commander. Alright, you. Let's keep it going. On the move. Full speed. 
Let's take out our aggression against these guys. Hopefully the streak's hit. I'm gonna leave the sensors off for now. Firing okay. So that's our friendly neighborhood LRM B. LRM B. Reporting minimal damage. Excellent. Okay, let's move the Clint first. Standing by. Oof, that's not good. That's not good. Do I take the chance? Probably not, huh? Oh, man. I mean, we could try it through here. I'm not going to risk it. Okay. Full speed it is. Don't risk it. If we had better pilots, sure. Same with you, huh? All right, just get up to here. Roger. Don't shoot the boss in the back. This guy's not as fast as I thought he was. Commander. All right, although you can get up here. There we go. Get that nice solid red line. All right, let's apply some damage. Roger. Yes. One hit, excellent. All right, well, they're fast. So it just looks like it's all urban mechs back here. Which is really sucky. We've got to get out of the uh, periphery here now, I think. Where's that commando? Well, somebody's got a lot of rockets. Losing lots of armor. Yeah, I saw that. Losing lots of armor. So, that's not good. Yeah, you keep going. See you next week. Well, most of us are okay with the ability to move out of there. Where are you going? Nowhere. See what this Clint does. Or Vulcan, sorry. I gotta not be leading the charge. <laughs> so machine gun and medium lasers, alright. Losing armor. Yeah, you are. Holding. I was really hoping to get a quick cell mech out of this today, but God damn it. Yeah, you keep backing up. Ready for order. That's a lot of mines. Alright, we gotta rethink this now. It'll take a few turns. Let's go this way. Now the question is, is do I drop a minefield on the Commando and Vulcan? Because those urban mechs should go down relatively quickly. So we're not going to need our mines on them generally. 12... 12. Let's get around here. Got it. I think we're going to go with some mines here. So this guy's shot his load pretty much. He's pretty much done. But this guy is not out of range with the SRMs, unfortunately. Um... Let's just shoot him with this. Firing. Alright. Mine's not an optimal location, but that's fine. I'm out of SRN. That's alright. I'm ready. We're not going up that way anyway, I don't think. We can only go only eight, eh? What about this way? It's twelve. Hmm, do I wanna go? Wanna eat four extra mines? 
to get out of visibility of these guys? Or do we attempt to keep shooting with our armor as it is? Can we actually get down out of the line of sight here? We can't really. I mean, we can there. That's 18 mines. That's 20 mines. Hmm. Well, that guy, one guy has shot his uh, load anyway. So let's go here, here. Only Rex capable there. Let's go there. Moving to position. Wish I had some vigilance, but whatever. Six landmines going off. It's fine. We'll take a shot at this guy. Engaging target. Nice. Quick sell, man. Punishing your enemy. Hitting those low percentage chances to hit, baby. Damn it. Stop shooting at me. It's the hunter. All right, well. Receiving you. You're not in a good position, are you? 30 that way. 34 that way. 48. So I guess we're going this way. Let's, uh... How far can we jump? Not very far. We're still going to eat some mines if we do that, but... Let's get into here. Roger. We're going to eat the damage. I think they're pretty much done with their uh, mines and stuff. But I'm not done with mine. We're going to try and get this guy and lay some mines in here. Target lock on enemy All right. I'm out of SRM. That's actually a good clustering right there. Yes, Commander. Now you. Oof. Don't like that, but we're taking it. Commander. We'll lead a few mines. Well, we had that much choice. Go after this guy. Come on, put a round in there. Alright, we got one hit. Nice. I don't think it opened it up at all. It would be nice if it did. No. But the mines... It's only got five internal structure, though. That's probably like, what? Seven or eight points plus internal? So maybe. Depending on where it goes, we might get lucky. Or he might just sit there too. But I think he's got uh, fire and maneuver, so. Find out here in a second. Find out in a second. The bad thing is now our forces are split left, right. Ooh, only two of them went off? Really? All right, well, sure. Maybe because it's a light vehicle. Shooting at the commando and hitting the storm crow. It's my probe king, man. My quick sell probe king saves your ass every time. Yeah, let's go through the minefields. 24 mines. I feel good about that. Ooh, that's not bad. Alright. Nah, I'm open somewhere. Probably CT. Probably CT. Nope. That's the worst place I could be open. That jeopardizes two of my weapons. I gotta back off now. Standing by. Completely back off. Alright. Let's get over here. Uh, wait, that's the left side, so we want to expose right more or less. 
On the move. Right. Sit back here. We'll come around, but for now we'll sit there. Stormcrow's got lots of armor. So do the other two mechs, so we should be fine. That's the hunter, I'm assuming. Yep. Good to go. We got the absolute worst map to uh, bring out the Stormcrow in, and I can't get down this way? Apparently not. So do I want to... I can't really engage. We're going to walk through here. Because we got to get to the other side. That's the fastest way to do it. But we also want to apply some damage here. So we're going to go this route. Let's switch... You to Acid. And this doesn't really matter, so let's stay with Inferno on this guy. So we're staying pretty cool here. I keep forgetting when I'm looking at the heat. It also includes the heat generated by the Mind Dispenser on the first shot. So now that the Mind Dispenser's heat's gone, we're pretty good actually. So let's hit this guy. Alright, not bad. Reporting critical hit. Nice and toasty anyway. Reporting. Minimal damage. Come on, people, we gotta get some guns off the field here. Yeah. Gotta get some guns off the field. Hey, let's see what this baby can do. Alright, so we got 29, 35. Um, much better. I want the AC to have more than the medium lasers, so let's just fire at these guys. Fire. Damn it! Ah, I want anything to hit. Hey, that's not right. That's, that's not, not right. right. Oof. Reparton, minimal damage. That's not minimal. So that's the old one. So there's a PPC version up there somewhere. Yes, Commander. Get over here. Affirmative. Drop a little bit of our... There it is over there. We've got to get this guy out of our way here. Uh, okay. Roger. Nice shots. There you go. That's a kill. Did we ammo rack him, or did we... Or was that an XL? Waiting for orders. May have been an ammo rack. Okay, our armor's not bad here. Uh, where did that gun technical go? There it is. Gonna push this a little bit. All right. See if we can chase that guy back even further. Or get a kill here if we can. I doubt it, but we're firing at the wrong side. Nope. Nope. Failed to connect. We're generating evasion though, so that's a good thing. I guess. I'm going to have to focus fire these urban mechs too, like one at a time here. On 20. Who's going on 20? Oh, the gun technical. Come on back into the firing zone, buddy. Right back into here. Oof, what are you doing? That's... Okay, whatever. Hey guys, get into a pickup truck and... Commander? Pickup truck and charge a battle mech. See how well that does, how how well you last that with that. Uh, let's get over here. Understood. Moving fast. I'm still in jeopardy of lerms here, but hopefully with the uh, right side turn we should be okay for a bit. 
Oof. What's up with the accuracy? Okay, we gotta pull back. You keep going, I'm good. I'm cool with that. Alright, PPC version. Lerm version. Do they have two Lerms or one back there? That could have been worse. Two. Although I don't think that guy carries a lot of ammo. I think it's just like one ton? Is like it one or two standard. tons of ammo? Standing by. I thought, it may have, I thought it may have only been one. I'm gonna eat the mines, unfortunately. On my way. And we'll hammer this guy. Keep the acid on, and yep. Acknowledge. Well, that wasn't that too bad. Good. Come on, bail out, bail out. Eyes oh, out cold. Never mind, there's the first kill. Yeah. What can I do you for? Kill secured. Hmm. Okay, let's get over here. Gonna run parallel a bit here. See if we can kill this guy. Short range targeting, yes, firing. There we go. Okay, two down. Three down, sorry. Got him with the Vulcan. What's up, boss? I don't know how I forgot about that Vulcan, but I did. Um Let's not bunch up, as I have a tendency to do. Still a little bit bunchy here, but not bad. Get in the trees, get some armor. Get a little bit of armor. 16. And remote sensors only. Alright, well. I guess it's you. I'm gonna drop the sensors on this one. All right, we got one hit. That's not bad. More than I thought we'd get. I'm receiving you. All right, now. Um, let's go here. Trees gives us a bit of armor. Get a bit of speed. We still got able to take a shot. Take a shot at this guy. Hopefully, we hit. We don't. Miss. Waiting for orders. Okay, still in the defilade. Keep our side turned to those guys. I'm gonna walk it up so I can brace here. Get rid of my instability. Orders. Orders. Okay, we freed up our right side. So now we're gonna face these guys on the left and kill them directly here as best we can. Now that's we've got the minus Spencer ten on this guy. Um, that's short range at sixty seven. Long range, much better. Do I use the thunderbolt? Not on this guy. Although he does have a light and a or medium and a heavy rifle, doesn't he? That is just fire. Is that a hit? Was a hit, wasn't it? That was a hit, right? You need to get up here fast. Yeah, that was an arm hit. Yes, Commander.
Gonna stay away from a direct line of fire with that other urban mech. I don't know what he's got. This guy right here. Plasma cannons in range. Not a great chance to hit. Let's take it though. Target acquired. Close. No joy. I'm sure he's smelling that plasma residue. Oh god, that guy's got good accuracy. Barely hit, Commander. Somebody with a tag. Who was that? The other guy back here? The guy I didn't know this guy here, wasn't it? Ready for orders. I think so. Okay, let's get into here. On the move. Get our stability back, get some strength. From the trees, and let's fire. Okay, good. Maybe we can strip that side this turn. So, Clint's already gone, so we've got the storm. We don't have the storm crow. Systems are holding. I'm here. I'm going for it. Roger, Skipper. Kicking in. Got good evasion, we've got some defense position posturing from the trees. And hopefully being this close will alleviate some shots on my mechs. So we can close with the enemy. And we want to keep on this guy. Try and strip this side from him. Nice. Hopefully we can get ahead of him next turn. So it wasn't that guy firing the tag. Oh wait. Who shot the tag? This guy? No, it couldn't have been that guy. I'm receiving you. Full speed, it sounds good. Stay flanking. Shouldn't have charged in like that when I first uh, started. But not much I can do. This hunter's got some half decent armor, so I gotta be careful of that thing. Okay, good, nice, a miss. Excellent. Alright, well, as long as you're trying to hit low percentage chance to hits, I'm happy. Okay, good. He did not move. So they have two LRMs then. Wait, are they hot loading? LRM EN. Just regular LRM. Right here. Hmm. Okay. All right. Firing on his I'm side again. Uh, yeah, we'll stay with Lon. That looks pretty good. Right leg destroyed. Report. That was Report. not the droid I was looking for. But I'm hoping we can finish this guy up. Uh, do I want to... Who do I want to finish him up with, though? That's the question. I think it's you. Double time. Let's go. We're going to push this peep version now. Now that this guy's on the ground. We should be able to clean up his side here. I'm going to go for the torso. Fire. That should do it. Critical hit, Commander. Oh, so he had an AC-10. Waiting for order. Must have been the, it must be an AC-10 slash machine gun build. Oh, we got enough vigilance here now. We can speed through this. 
or speed closer anyway. Uh, let's get up to here. I think our chances on this guy are garbage. I'm not going to fire by our mech here. We're going to shoot at this guy. Um, let's go for the other torso. Plasma cannon stays off. Hopefully we can connect with the ER. Let's go with the tandems and try and finish him. Let's try and finish him. Taking the shot. Not quite, but we've got an engine crit. Critical hit, Commander. I'm out of short range missiles. He's down to a machine gun now. Fuck this guy. I. Thank God the galleon's got a little bit of armor. Makes doing moves like this a little less scary. This should be good. Yes, everything hit. This guy's toasty too. Ready for orders. All right, can we help warm that guy up? Don't like the looks of that. That's a little better. Out of range with the SRMs there. Still out of range with the SRMs. So do I do that then? Let's get into the trees here. Face that way. way. Double time. And I'll take a shot with the plasma cannon on that guy. Oof, that's pretty damn low. We have a better... That's garbage. That's a kill shot. I think I'm going to try and overheat this guy. And I'll save the vehicle for a kill shot. Nice. Cool. So maybe this guy doesn't fire. Bring the vehicle back. Toast this guy up. You can move in. Attack him. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, you better run. Can't go any farther than that. Standing by. Don't you hate it when you're running those invisible barriers? Um. Yeah. Let's move. Get right on this guy. That's pretty nice. Acknowledged. Wow, really, eh? Only one laser hit? Alright, well, we'll take that, I guess. Barely hit, Commander. Oh, he's not shooting direct fire. Orders? On my way. We might be able to Double get in time. and sneak in a kill here. Quick sell for ultra sneaky kills. <laughs> I got stealth armor too. I got to figure out what to do with that. I thought about putting it on the commando, but I don't know if I got the weight for that. I got to pull out the Pharaoh, which drops a ton. And then the, the uh, stealth armor weighs a ton, I think. So it's a toss up here. Get around here. Should be hidden from that ur other urban mech. Yeah, we are. Nice. Too bad I've only got APFS. That's fine. Come on. Yes. He's done. Enemy eliminated. Well, thank you. Well, thank you very much. Commander. Um. Let me go here. Consider it done. Thought about taking a rear shot in that vehicle, but most likely we'll be killing it from the front or the side, so let's go after this guy. It's looking pretty good. 48, huh? Yeah. I'm gonna make some Oof, nothing. Negative damage. Yes, Commander. It's Jenkins. Can't take that shot. We'll just reserve. I'm liable to put it right in the back of my guy, and that doesn't make for good footage. Now, does it, Precious? <laughs> Could you imagine? Watch me make this impossible shot, and then you, <laughs> you core your guy from the back. Whoops. 
quick sell. Core your own units from the back. Okay. Yes, command. That's not bad. We can switch to short range on him. Piece of cake. Let's see here. I'm going to take whatever the best chance to hit is. So this guy is 73, 60... Oh yeah, I think this guy's the obvious choice. So let's go after him. His, both his mediums are down, but we should be able to do some pretty good damage here. Ah, uh, we missed with the uh, Thunderbolt. Interested to know how much ammo those guys have. Commander. It's vengeance. Okay, let's get up here. We're going to stop this guy from shooting. Who would have thought a bunch of urban mechs would have done a good number on us here? EMP first, I think. We'll fire it all on this guy. Roger. Yeah, he's toasty. Target's taking a critical hit. Mr. Zappy says you ain't shooting for a long time. <laughs> uh, you hang on, Jenkins. Preserving action. Because there's no point in this guy shooting at him. On my way. Or we got another juicy target right over here that's actually active. Target this guy instead. Uh, drop the sensors on him. We might get a head hit. You never know. Aye, aye. Wow, one laser hit and that's it, eh? Commander? Uh, you're gonna do the same. Get around to here. Hammer him. Come on, get that torso. Yeah, there you go. Scarred a critical hit. Should be weaponless now. Ready for orders. Roger that. He just... So, you know, being in the media, I know how this works, but, uh, it's like... The camera guy's like, we're following our, uh, Quicksell commando into battle. He's, uh, decided to make the attack by himself. <laughs> she just ruled out everybody. The enemy has overheated themselves and finds themselves in a precarious situation. Confirmed. Come on. Can't even pick that torso, huh? I'm out of SRMs. The beautiful thing about that footage is he can just choose to not use it. It doesn't tell the story you want it to tell. And there's so many times when I've just edited stuff, it's like you fudge it to tell the stories you wanted to tell. It's not like you're lying. Oh, I mean, technically you're lying, but the intended story still comes out, you know? You know what I'm saying? Probably don't know what I'm saying. We don't mean to lie, we just lie. You're a liar. You're a liar! Alright, let's try to blow through his side. I noticed they made uh, elementals and proto protomechs immune to uh, minefields. Affirmative. I, I don't know why, yes, but whatever. Somehow they're uh, they're uh, miraculously immune to minefields. Moving out. I guess somehow they're supposed to see it, but then how could it? Uh, whatever. I'm not, I'm, that's, that's the, that'll be the extent of my comment on that. Ah. Got it. This guy's toasty. Mr. Zappy times 20. Yeah, you bail out. Good to go. Let's finish this up. 
I gotta get around on this guy. So let's go around here. No problem. Full speed, stay in the trees. It's gotta be my new motto. Full speed. Standing by. Stay in the trees. Moving at full throttle. But he's probably got the extended range. Uh, somehow I got a uh, narc beacon on me here. Oh, he's overheating too. Yes, commander. Uh, you got robbed of your kill, buddy. Hunkering down. Uh, we'll just cut it together with him shooting and then that guy bailing out. I'm here. He knew he was in trouble. That's why he bailed out. It's a quick sell commando. I'm out of here. The guy's taking an amazing amount of damage. He's still relentless. I can't stand against that. All weapons are good. Yes. This galleon's actually doing some half-decent work. Waiting for orders. All right, you drop your heat. Cannot get on him, but we can get on this hunter who's trying to get the hell out of here. Not exactly sure what the AI is attempting to do with some of these vehicles. Like getting—I don't know what—what what, I don't know what they're doing. Got the angle. I'm taking a shot. At least the streaks landed. What's up, Commander? Oh, you know what's up. Let's move. You know what's up. Ready for orders. Hmm, the hunter's probably gonna take a little more to kill, so let's go after the, the hunter. Full speed. Yeah, Stormcrow's a lot slower than I thought it was. Standing by. Double time. Go. Gonna see if we can get a final shot in here. Who's going first? I have no order. idea who that was. That's pretty good. Roger that. Are we on short range targeting? We are. Excellent. We'll leave the Thunderbolt on, see if we can capitalize on a good shot here. I got nope. Wow. Okay. Long range missiles gone. Yeah, they did no damage this battle, unfortunately. He might be out of ammo. Orders? He might very well be out of ammo. Heading out. All right. Well, I don't know how far this guy can go, but locked on rear arm. Okay, some more good damage. Waiting for orders. Going full throttle. This urban mech might be out of ammo. Good to go. Uh, I can't get up that way anywhere. Can't get a shot in the Irby. Nope, we'll go this way. On it. It's actually not bad speed for 55 tonner if you think about it. We're like a 5.8, I think. Yes, Commander. It's pretty good. Acknowledge. Let's threaten this guy from behind. Threaten this guy from behind. Here it comes, baby. Ready for orders. I think I'm getting a little overconfident here. Affirmative. Getting a little overconfident with him. We'll see though. Commander. That guy didn't move. So neither will I. Maximize our chance to hit. He's still got ammo. There we go. They just probably gave up. I'm out of short range missiles. No, he's still got ammo. 
Yeah, I think he's been hot loading. Could be wrong though. Receiving you. I probably am. There's probably like 50 people going. No, he's got X. <laughs> Whatever it is. Full speed, no shoot. Got it. I cannot retain this type of information. Let's kill this guy. Man, has our A I think our AC hit once this battle. That's it. Orders. I'm receiving you. Come on. Engaging target. Nice. Ooh, not enough though, eh? Waiting for orders. Thought that would have been enough. Roger that. Full speed. You know what we need to do after this battle? Go for a little barbecue, which is what we're about to do to this guy. I'm gonna leave these off in case we miss. Same with those. Engaging with target. Ooh, plasma cannon hit. Maybe we can force a bailout here. Receiving you. No shooting, just running. Just sprint it up here. Mm, he's going on 17, eh? Yeah. So let's move. We got a side shot. I want to try and pull his initiative back, so we're going to do a uh, offensive push here. See if we can get our uh, overheater up ahead of him. I'm going to go for a leg shot here. Got it. Yeah, we dropped him to 13. Report negative damage. Receiving you. This guy's in trouble. This guy's in trouble. Let me show you what redlining means. Copy that. There you go. Maximize and salvage, baby. It said milk run. Yeah, right. So my, I think my tactics were, were sound on this one. Just that mine layer screwed us up at the beginning, and then I divided my forces, which was bad. So not much I can do about that. Um, but yeah, so the Stormcrow got, what, one kill and a couple of bailouts. We got no one, nothing for uh, Jenkins today, unfortunately. Uh, so what do we want to take here? I don't care about the cargo truck. So I've got a full... EN here. What is this? 3082. Enhanced LRM 20. And ER medium lasers. Hmm. There's the enhanced LRM 20. So it does do just 7 damage. Oh, well, that's interesting. So I, w I thought this the enhanced was increased range, but it's not. It's actually increased damage. Plus one HP, I'm assuming. Yeah, the missiles have plus one HP, so they're harder to shoot down. That's actually... It's 13 tons, though. It's actually not a bad weapon. Although, for 30, 140 damage, though, for 13 tons. That's if you land everything. And they don't have damage reduction. Hmm, that's interesting. My dispenser, 15... Snubnose PPC, I am going to take that. We have a tag that we're not using currently, so I'm not going to bother with that. Endo, we're okay. What else do you have down here? Guardian ECM, Ultra Light Gyro. Yeah, I mean, it's okay. It gives you some weight, but it reduces your stability. So this is great on um, like an artillery mech, probably, but on frontline fighters like I have, it's probably a waste. So just regular LRM ammo. So not a lot. So I wonder if we do take the three parts of that urban mech and then hopefully we get some stuff on it and then just trash it. And take the enhanced LRM-20. Because maybe we get a pair of these. Like This would be pretty devastating as a direct fire mech with a pair of enhanced LRM-20s. I mean, that's a lot of weight, though. It's 26 tons for a pair of them. Plus the ammo that you have to have, you have to have, like, what? At least two tons each. So you're looking at, like, 30 tons of weapons right there if you want to have a half-decent direct fire platform. At range, that is. 
But the heat's not bad. The heat's pretty good. Mm, how much is it worth? Not a lot. So let's grab that for salvage. Mm. We don't have any endo. Uh, we can't take it anyway. Doesn't matter. But let's go that route. All right, commando part. The truck we can put together, not, not that I care. 200 parts, which is pretty good. Urban mech parts. Lots of urban mech parts. So we can assemble those. We keep the medium laser. The Rocket 5. It's 0.25 tons. We'll hang on to it. The 60 cores can go. Jump jets can go. Heavy machine gun half load. We'll keep that. LM double. I guess I'll keep that. All right. So it really wasn't what I was looking for out of this battle. That's a lot of sea bills to spend for that. We didn't make much either. So we got some time to repair. There's a few half decent missions. Bring the Storm Crow up. And yeah, eight days we're back. So actually before we go today, let's have a quick look at the mech bay. We'll assemble some of those mechs and probably just ditch them here. So if we go to storage. Come on, Bubba, let's go. All right, so we got the urban mech. Where are you here? this guy so let's ready you that mech is ready to fight we'll check that out in a second so the R80 is the PPC version right snub nose PPC pulse laser tag so we're going to assemble that version wait what's the 60C Capellan variant Oh, that's the AC-10. That's the one we just got, the AC-10 machine gun version. So let's use that piece. So we'll assemble this guy. And the... We'll spend a little extra money. That mech you wanted is back online. Cool. We can see what we can get off this one, too. So there's some half decent gear here, potentially. Uh, the cargo truck. Let's just assemble that. We can get rid of that. Ah, uh, let's leave it. We might we might need a V. Well, we got a galleon though. Medium late. Well, there's a question whether or not that's any better than the cargo truck. I mean, this guy will die faster. But the heavy rocket launcher, five rockets, machine gun, and periphery rifle might do more damage initially than a medium laser and a pair of machine guns. I don't know. Let's hold on to it for now. Let's have a look at the base here. All right, so the R80 doesn't look like we got much off this, although we might get the PPC. No, we got the tag, though. The tag. Well, okay. Oh, the 60 core. We can sell that. All right, well. We got the tag. How much is that worth? 72? Not bad. We spent 15 to get it. And this guy was spending nothing to get it. Let's see if we get anything. We might get the LRM. Nope. One, two jump jets and some endo steel. All right, whatever. I feel like we got ripped off today. 71, that's worth less than the other guy. All right. Well, we're at 846,000. We got enough for our financial report. A few more missions. So that ain't bad. All right, I'm going to end this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And remember, go visit the QuickSell website. Be well with QuickSell. Until next time, we'll see you later.